We all know that toxic relationships can be damaging in the moment. But did you know they can also have long-term effects that linger for years? Psychologists, with their deep understanding of human behavior, have identified that the aftermath of a toxic relationship can manifest in unexpected ways long after the relationship has ended. From affecting your mental health to shaping your future relationships, the impacts can be far-reaching and unexpected. Wondering what these effects are? Let's explore six surprising ways a toxic relationship can impact a person years from now. 1. Lingering self-doubt. A toxic relationship often thrives on undermining the other person's confidence and self-worth. Unfortunately, constant criticism or belittling can echo in your mind even after the relationship has ended. The result? A lingering self-doubt can affect your future relationships, career choices, and overall mental well-being. When love becomes toxic, it seeps into your self-esteem, making it difficult to persist and thrive. Understanding this potential impact is the first step towards healing and regaining your confidence. But remember asking for help to untangle these complex feelings is okay. 2. Difficulty in setting boundaries. Another surprising way a toxic relationship can affect you is by blurring your understanding of boundaries. In toxic relationships, one partner's manipulative or controlling behavior can erode the other's sense of self-worth and confidence. This can result in the affected person struggling to assert their needs and limits. Over time, the lack of boundaries can lead to increased stress, emotional exhaustion, and a diminished ability to maintain healthy relationships in other areas of their life. If you've been in a toxic relationship, remember it's okay and crucial to set boundaries for your well-being. 3. Fear of Vulnerability Here's a raw truth, toxic relationships can make you fear vulnerability. After all, when you've exposed your soft underbelly to someone who's used it against you, it's only natural to want to armor up. You start to equate vulnerability with pain and betrayal, and that wariness can seep into every relationship you build afterward. Remember, vulnerability is not winning or losing, it's having the courage to show up and be seen when we have no control over the outcome. But when vulnerability has been exploited in the past, showing up and being seen can feel like the most terrifying thing in the world. Recognizing this fear is a crucial step in healing. It's okay to be vulnerable and to take your time trusting again. Acknowledging this fear is the first step towards reclaiming your ability to be open and trusting in your relationships. 4. Struggle with trust. Trust is a cornerstone of any relationship. But trust isn't easy to give when you've been in a toxic one. You find yourself questioning the motives of others, even when they've given you no reason to doubt them. It's like you're wearing mistrust-tinted glasses, everything is viewed through that lens. Rebuilding trust in others and your own judgment can be a slow process. But with time and patience, it's possible to heal and learn to trust again. Trust is not a one-time decision, but a gradual process of rebuilding and relearning. With the right support and self-reflection, it's possible to see the world through a lens of trust once more. 5. Overcompensation in following relationships. This might seem counterintuitive, surviving a toxic relationship can lead to overcompensation in your following relationships. You become so determined not to repeat the same patterns that you swing the pendulum too far the other way. Overcompensating is a way of stepping back into safety and trying to control the uncontrollable out of fear. Recognizing this is the first step towards finding a healthier balance in your relationships. 6. Difficulty in expressing emotions. In my own experience, a toxic relationship can make it challenging to express emotions freely. When your feelings have been belittled, dismissed, or weaponized, you might learn to bottle them up. You may find it hard to open up even to those genuinely caring about you. This emotional shutdown is a defense mechanism against the vulnerability that was exploited in the toxic relationship. Unfortunately, as psychologist Sigmund Freud rightly said, unexpressed emotions will never die. They are buried alive and will come forth later in uglier ways. 
Holding back your feelings can lead to a buildup of emotional pressure, and without a healthy outlet, this pressure can manifest as anxiety, depression, or even physical illness. It might seem safer to keep your guard up, but in the long run, it's not sustainable. Relearning how to express your emotions after leaving a toxic relationship takes time and patience. It often involves re-establishing trust with oneself and others, which isn't easy. The journey to emotional openness is gradual but crucial for healing. Opening up to a therapist or a trusted friend can be a good starting point. It's about taking small steps towards letting your guard down and finding safe spaces to share your feelings again.